I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sure Grip Roller Skates. I'm here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center today to talk to you about practice for better crossovers. This is the single best thing you can do. Super simple, super easy, something that you can do over and over and over again to improve your crossovers. You need to watch this video. Today's video is brought to you by Pigeon Skates. They're here in Long Beach, California, and they can get you everything you need for skating. That includes boots, wheels, plates, toe stops, jam plugs, laces, clothing, skate bags, all sorts of stuff. Go see pigeonskates.com, all right? Tell them I sent you. I got a discount code, dirty with a big dollar sign that'll save you a little bit money. I promise they'll take good care of you. All right, skaters, so let's get ready. You're gonna practice along with me. First, I'm gonna give you a little instruction and then you're gonna practice for better crossovers today. So you might think that we're just gonna do this endless cycle of going round and round and round, of crossing over, crossing over, crossing over, but that ain't what we're gonna do, okay? That is not what we're gonna do. And in fact, this is just gonna be essentially four steps one way and four steps back. So this is gonna be really simple. And in fact, if you're very new at skating, you can actually just do this off skates then put your skates on, do it on the carpet, and then put your skates on and do it on some sort of a, you know, wood or tile surface, okay? And then take it to the rink, all right? But I like doing this also with a little bit of beat to the music, so I'm gonna count it out. What we're gonna do today is essentially an exercise as well. It's going to firm up. Mm all these muscles you need for skating. Did you know that for skating, for the vast majority of power that you need, skating comes from your butt. It also comes from these nice big muscles in your thighs. And then your ability to tighten up your inner thighs and your snack area is going to make you a better skater, right? Sometimes people call, ask me, well, what kind of exercises should I be doing like at the gym? And I'm like, I don't know. Listen, just skate more. It's amazing how you can skate you can be a better skater by just skating more. But doing this simple exercise, which is kind of like a dance, is going to help you, okay? Now, um, my OCD-ness just means I have to start over here where there's a line. Okay, now. Oh, I gotta give you this disclaimer too. Do you hear that thump thump? Can you hear it? Let me skate around fast for a second. Do you hear this? I have a flat spot on my wheel. I have a flat spot on my wheel because my wheels are real hard and I've been using them to stop like like this and I flattened out a little bit of the wheel and that's how you hear that thut, 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 thut. so if that bothers you I'm so sorry but that's just the way it goes until I change out these wheels okay practice time ready go with me chin up shoulders straight across snack area tight let's drop our hips we're going to be looking either ahead or we're gonna open up to this area and we're moving this way, okay? Get this out of the way. We're gonna be down, okay? We're gonna shift our body weight over to the foot or the leg closest to the direction we're following. We're going to lift with our hip and cross. The second we cross, we're going to squeeze our inner thighs together just like that. Okay, then we're gonna push down and release. But the key is we're gonna do it to a count of two. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, we're gonna send it all the way back, right? We're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's talk all the details that make this happen. Again, I'm sort of looking at the camera, but in reality, I'm a little bit here. This shoulder closest to the direction of travel is a little bit open. So this is neutral for your shoulder. This is closed. This is open, all right? So my shoulder's like just a little bit open. Why is my shoulder a little bit open? Because that helps open up the hip. When this hip is open, it makes it so much easier to make this cross happen. If I take this shoulder and go like this, makes this 
hard, okay? When I think about picking my foot up, I'll pick it up, I could drop it straight down if I don't have enough weight on this leg. So what I need to do is take my center line of balance and really push it over. Before I lift this leg, I am centered over my skate here. I'm gonna lift my hip, all right? When I lift my hip, cross like that. Did you just see what happened with my arms? That what is this? <gasps> Counterbalancing, do you say? Why, yes it is. Counterbalance, okay? Now, even though my arm is here, my shoulder is still pulled back, so this can happen. The second that my foot, hip raises the foot and sets it down, I put weight on it. When I put a lot of weight on it, it means that I can let go of the other foot, okay? So, we are down, shift, lift, cross, push down, and release. All right, so let's start from the beginning, right? We're gonna go five, six, seven, eight, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One thing I love about going one direction and then going the other is that the, the, the direction that you feel most positive about, the direction that you quote is your good side, that's my good way, that's my good foot, it will take your other side, your bad foot, your not good foot, the, the direction that you don't like to go, takes a lot of cues from the other side. So. For me, this feels super comfortable, right? This, not as, but the fact that I've been doing it both ways for so long means they're pretty much the same, okay? So, if you have difficulty with one, uh, doing crossovers one way as opposed to the other, do the pattern of this exercise just like this. Again, stand up. Drop, chin up, shoulders straight across, snacks real tight. We're gonna counterbalance with our arms, ready? Five, six, seven, eight, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Get it? If you do this over and over and over again, I promise you, not only will your crossovers be really good, every time you go to do any kind of dance skating, this will be much more possible because the muscles in your legs know how to keep your feet right underneath you. The other part is this. Vast majority of people tell me I cannot do a crossover because Number one, my thighs are too big. Exhibit A and B. It's not the size of your thighs. It's the planting and the lifting, the crossing and releasing. You can cross, trust me. The other thing is the idea in your mind, better yet the fear that you're going to hit the foot. I get it. When you're planted and you shift, if you lift with your hip, pull back like this, take your foot and slightly get the heel right out of the way, Boop, pop it over, you're never going to hit. Trust me, if you just do this over and over and over again, your feet start figuring out where they are in relationship to each other while doing this exercise. Ready? One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, one and two, three and four. Now, last thing I have to say about this, please do not rush through this exercise and go like this. That is something different. The key in doing it this way is this. One and two, having to hold yourself in this position 
from head to toe, makes a lot of things happen and alerts the body head to toe of where we need to be to be able to stand like this, okay? To be able to hold this because when you first do it, you're gonna roll and you're like, how do I not roll? How is she not rolling? because not only are my thighs locked together like glue, literally this entire part of my body is like this. Even my back, big wing bones in my back, okay? Like this, in my arms, you pull and you stick it. Holding this for two seconds, putting it out for two, holding for two, out for two is what makes this happen. So whether you're at the rink or you're at home, you hear the song come on and you like it, just drill this. You could be in the middle of the rink. I do this with people all the time. But it's so important and you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. All right, skaters, I expect that if you do this, you're going to message me and say, why dirty, I did that religiously. And look how good my crossovers are. And look how good my downtown is. And look how good my original is. Because I followed that simple little practice that you did, okay? I expect to get those messages. This is how much I believe in this. All right, skaters, so I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you take it to heart and I hope you practice. All righty, until next time, thank you so much for your support of this channel. Thank you so much for believing in this channel and watching these videos. You have no idea what it means to me. I love it. So I'm grateful and happy you're here. All right, skaters, go practice.